As businesses and organizations of every size are experiencing an explosion of data, Oracle is innovating new solutions to proactively manage and monitor these digital storage environments. As data flows into clouds, digital archives, and data protection environments, system administrators need more efficient tools to help monitor all of these digital assets. Enter in Oracle's newest storage monitoring software, Storage Tech Tape Analytics 2.0. In this video, we will take a live look at a digital tape library environment monitored by Storage Tech Tape Analytics 2.0. The demo system is monitoring multiple geographically dispersed tape libraries. All of the health, performance, and monitoring data is flowing into one central Storage Tech Tape Analytics system, providing the storage administrator with the information they need in one place. During the demo, we will deep dive on the new features available within Storage Tech Tape Analytics 2.0. These features include a customized dashboard which enables users to create a unique view into the tape environment, an executive report allowing users to automatically generate email reports on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annual basis, expanded hardware monitoring. With the second release of Tape Analytics, users can look beyond just drive and media health, and now you can look at performance data on robots, pass-through ports, cartridge access ports, and elevators. Logical grouping, a feature to help users separate their assets into groups that align with their tape environment. Capacity and performance planning, new features throughout the Storage Tech Tape Analytics system will help administrators and executives better understand how the tape system is being utilized and help them maximize the robotic performance. Email notifications are completely refreshed and now customizable so that storage administrators get the information they want when they need it. Mobile support provides proactive tape monitoring anywhere you go. And finally, last but not least, library media validation, the most advanced way to scan the media and the data stored within the tape library to ensure you will have access to your digital assets when you need to recall them in the future. Now let's go ahead and connect to a live Storage Tech Tape Analytics 2.0 system. Logging in is easy, and you can access the browser-based user interface from anywhere on your network. Once logged in, your dashboard will be the first thing you see. The dashboard is customized to you in your view of the digital archive and or data protection environment. The dashboard screen consists of a series of portlets. Each portlet contains a unique graph, table, or report pertaining to the health, performance, or capacity of your system. The dashboard is fully customizable, with over 50 different portlets available, each one highlighting a unique view into the data collected by Storage Tech Tape Analytics. The dashboard is extremely flexible, giving you control over the type of data displayed. You may dynamically add and remove portlets with ease. To add a new portlet, simply select the type of portlet you wish, wish to display from the drop-down menu, and the portlet will be added to your dashboard. Some portlets contain information about the amount of data the system has stored, while others focus on throughput, the health of the tape library subsystems, and much, much more. You may add portlets until you have created the customized view you prefer. Once you have the dashboard to your liking, you can save your dashboard with a custom name and specify whether or not you want to share this dashboard with other tape analytics users within your organization. Each user may create and share multiple dashboard templates. For example, you may want to create a dashboard to monitor the health of all of your libraries, tape drives, media, and library subsystems, such as robots, pass-through ports, cartridge access ports, and elevators. This creates a central location to monitor the health of all of your tape subsystems. Additionally, you may want to create a dashboard view to help optimize tape operations. This view may include system capacity, data growth, performance, and throughput numbers. Valuable information to help you get the most out of your storage tech assets. The flexibility of the system does not stop at multi-dashboard support. Tape Analytics allows you to customize each of the individual portlets. 
As an example, you may want one portlet to provide a summary of the health of all of your media across the tape environment. But you may also want to see the health of the media in a single tape library or the health of a specific media generation. Well, this powerful filtering feature within Storage Tech Tape Analytics enables you to drill down to the specific information you need to proactively manage your environment. Using the filtering feature, you will be able to create views unique to specific time frames, asset locations, technology generations, and so much more. Now that you have the tools to deep dive into the workings of your environment, you will find opportunities to improve your systems. And taking note of these opportunities is important. With 2.0, you can now make annotations so that you can capture relevant data and investigate performance or health issues. Additionally, many of the portlets provide links to detailed information screens on libraries, drives, and media, enabling you to quickly deep dive into relevant information and take action on the performance and health issues discovered. Once you have configured your dashboards to your liking, you will be able to save and access these views every time you log into Tape Analytics. Or alternatively, the dashboard views are supported on mobile devices, so you can remotely monitor the storage environment from a mobile browser anytime, anywhere. In addition to the flexible options to access the system, there are also new features in 2.0 that enable the system to notify you. The two types of notifications available are executive reports and email alerts. Executive reports are completely customizable and are created by leveraging the dashboard views you have already developed. To create an automated report, simply navigate to the Setup and Administration tab, then click on the New Report icon. Create a report name. Select the source dashboard. Select the start date and the frequency. Reports may be run automatically, generating daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually. Finally, select the desired email recipients. If you select Save and Run, a report will be generated immediately. The report will include graphs, tables, and charts, as well as detailed information on what is being displayed. And if any annotations were made, they will be visible here as well. A history of all of the executive reports will automatically be saved in the Tape Analytics system for your future reference. The second avenue to receive notifications from the system is email alerts. Tape Analytics leverages an advanced rules engine, enabling you to create alerts for very specific scenarios or events. For the purposes of this demonstration, let's say you want to be alerted every time a drive's health indicator moves into the action state. To get started, there are five easy steps to set up an alert. First, create a name and a description. Second, select the device you want to be alerted on. In this case, we will select drives and a severity level of critical. The third step is to create the rule that will activate the alert. In this case, you would select the drive health indicator and a state of action. Multiple filters could be applied here allowing you to drill down further into the specific tape drive generation or drive locations of your organization's data centers. The last step is to select an email alert recipient or multiple recipients. Once the alert criteria are met, an email to the appropriate recipients will be sent. So far in this demo, we have looked at the flexibility of the dashboard and the portlets, as well as the proactive nature of the executive reports and alerts. However, there is still an extremely valuable feature yet to cover, the integration of Storage Tech Tape Analytics with Storage Tech Library Media Validation. Together, these features provide the most advanced solution in the industry to scan and validate the integrity of your data so that you may be confident you can retrieve your assets from your clouds, digital archives, and data protection environments in the future. Let's start by looking at how library media validation works when automated by Tape Analytics. Then we'll jump back into the live demo system to see how it's configured, monitored, and managed. To get started, you will select a tape drive to perform the media validation scans. Selecting which drive to leverage may be done with the assistance of Tape Analytics. The drive you selected will be dedicated to validations and not available to other applications. The second step is to select the media you wish to verify. You may either manually kick off the verification by selecting the media you wish to scan, 
or you may create a policy to automatically queue up media for validation. The third and final step is to select the type of verification you wish to perform. The verification options differ by the amount of media scanned and the level of file verification. Once you have completed these three steps, you will be ready to put library media validation into action. Tape Analytics will kick off the first verification and display the results in the system. The software will then continue to manage the queue of media and kick off the additional verifications. The results will continue to flow into your interface. There is also a recommended option to periodically verify the integrity of the drive performing these scans, and that is the final media movement you see here. Now that you have taken the time to understand how Storage Tech Tape Analytics and Library Media Validation work together to improve the integrity of your storage environment, let's jump back into the live demo system to see how to configure and manage these operations. You can start by navigating to the Media Validation tab in the Setup and Administration menu. Here is where you will enable Media Validation as well as see the number of drives available to perform validations. Select the Create New Validation icon and enter a policy name and description. Next, select the format of the media you wish to validate in a library. Note, you also have the option here to scan the media in a logical group. Logical grouping is a new feature that allows you to group assets based on the users and or organizations that your storage environment supports. For example, you may create a logical group for legal assets versus engineering assets or maybe a group for weather data versus seismic data. The way you group your assets will be unique to you, your industry, and your organization. For the purposes of this example, we will just select a media type. The final step is to select the policy and the type of validation. The policy options range from random to health related to the age of the data and the last time it was accessed. Under the verification test types, you will see all of the verification options discussed earlier, from basic verify to complete verify plus. Once you have created a policy, you can easily update or delete the policy in the future from this screen. To see the status and results of all of the validations in the queue, navigate to the system activity screen. The media validation overview screen provides a table of all the media validations performed. This table is completely customizable, and the attributes seen here are just a fraction of the values monitored. Here you can see the media type, volume serial number, time the scan took, type of verification used, the result, and the recommendation. The majority of the media is determined to be OK for continued use. However, the scans did identify some mirrors or memory information regions that needed to be rebuilt. Tape Analytics can do this automatically in the background. The view here does not show any recent failed notifications requiring data to be migrated to a new tape, but in the event that the system did encounter an error, the health state would change to action and the result would be updated here. All of the dashboard, executive report, and email alert features have special attributes for media validation, so you can closely monitor the scans of your clouds, digital archives, and data protection environments. With Oracle's Storage Tech Tape Analytics 2.0 software, storage administrators and executives alike now have access to the tools needed to monitor and manage the data growth of today and tomorrow. To learn more about innovative digital archive and data protection solutions from Oracle, search Storage Tech Tape Analytics or visit us at oracle.com slash go to slash tape.